Welcome to another video from 2dgameartguru.com. Today I'd like to introduce you to a tool I stumbled across. It's called Pixel Over and it allows you to transform your art into pixel art. I've done a fair bit of pixel art in my days, starting with the C64, doing art for the Nintendo GBA, the Nintendo DS, mobile phone games, and then moving on to flash games. And in the end, the screen size required more and more pixels, so I chose to stick to vector graphics. Pixel Over allows me to take my high res art and the vector graphics and turn it into pixel art with these. So, this is it. Very straightforward UI. It is work in progress. As you can see, the 3D part is coming soon. There are issues, but the developer is very quick with his replies and the project is very much alive. So without further ado, let's open an image. For starters, I take a plane I did a while back. It's a vector image exported to PNG. As you can see, very clean lines. And we start by transforming it to a way smaller size. So let's say we do 128 pixels width. Let's increase the zoom factor. And we can see that it is very pixelated. And it still has the original colors and that's where the magic happens. We can say, okay, index the colors and we can choose our own palette, generate with adjustments. This is what it looks like in eight colors. Or I can go in and say, give me a palette that already exists. So now I have a sprite that looks a lot more like pixel art. I can now play around with the contrast to bring out some details and the brightness. With a bit of tweaking, I came up with this really old school looking shading on top of it, desaturated colors, and put it into a background, again taken from vector art and reduced in pixel over. A great advantage of vector art is the editability, the ease in which you can change, rearrange and recycle art. So this one is from an earlier tutorial. It's a modular building kit for houses. I create parts and keep them as assets for future houses. So houses are built on the same design elements, recolored, rechanged, and I can create new elements quickly and easily. Now if I take this into Pixel Over, I have a really nice pixel art house that is created in a fraction of the time it would take me to do it in pixel art. You can see the original colors, the index colors, and I can assign a palette and a system of shading that I can save and apply to all my art as I go along. I still would have to touch it up if I want to use it in a game. There are certain elements that would need touching, like missing lines or dithering that is not quite where I would like it to be. But it's a great start. I have just scratched the surface, but it's a great tool from what I can see so far and I look forward to further releases. It is definitely worth the asking price and I'm happy to have it in my tool set. I had a lot of fun with this tool so far and I'm looking forward to more time spent with it, exploring its abilities and seeing what the programmer will add to it. I hope you enjoyed this short video. Please subscribe to the channel, give me a like or a comment below. See you soon.